Yo, what's going on guys? In this video we're going to be doing Who Wants to Be King 1 from Vault Hub. Uh, this box is straight about easy, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so um, I'm going to be opening my terminal. Um, we're going to be splitting these. So next I'm going to start by, or first I'm going to start by doing a net discover. 10.0.0.124 minus i t0. I'm going to get the IP address right here. So next, I'm going to run an mmap scan minus, uh, we'll do minus sc minus sv. We'll scan all ports on the machine. Um, right here, I think there is a, um, we'll do a banner guard right here. And port 80. Uh, port 80 does seem to be open. And we do have s keylogger. Um, right here, um, since we do have a S key logger right here, um, it is 31. This size is 31, and um, I did do research on the S key logger, and that's actually a key logger, right? So um, from here, we can just do um, so we can just uh, w get this. So let me just clear this. I think I already have a, I think I already have a, um, a, um, here we go, CD keylogger. And we do have a, um, our S keylogger right here, so right. So if you did look at the clue on the box, uh, this is we can use strings. So we can just use the string command. Um, and if you go back up, Um, you do see that we have a base64 here, so uh, we can just start by, um, we can just decrypt that with base64. We can pipe that and we can just do base64 uh, minus D. And you see that's the, the password, right? So for here, um, I couldn't even find the username for the user. All right, so yeah, when you run the VM, um, when you start up on VirtualBox or just to run the VM, right? Um, you'll see that there actually is a user there and that's where I got the user. Um, I actually did try um, gripping out the user or tried finding any users, but I couldn't find it. So um, I guess I cheated a little bit by trying to looking at the VM, right? The user. So we're going to do um, the user at 10.0.0.117. And this was the password. And now we are at OS boxes. So now we can cat into a secret. Right here says find home please. So now we're going to do cd minus la. If you do go back to the cd dot local, go to share. Um, you'll find the this zip file right here. So we can just unzip this, and we can just uh, press yes. So you see that we got a new file right here. So now we can uh, just cat uh, dj, and we do have a node.txt. Now, if we go there, you'll see the note.txe, which was uh, this message right here. All right, so um, I did I got the password here since I already know the password. And if I don't know, so the thing, so think about these. Um, so think about these um, capture the flags. I mean, they're really they're capture the flag like. So that means that's not really realistic. And I mean, if you're doing a real assessment, you're really not going to be um you're not going to be researching this i did research and actually found the password through a youtube video which is really unrealistic but i mean it, it to capture the flag i mean what, what can you say um so it's not really the best um i spent like an hour trying to privilege escalate which i mean did it make sense because if i ran um was it uh, pseudo minus l <laughs> um i did visit these directories but none of those uh None of, none of these uh, SAR, the bash, and the pi, uh, these files weren't existing, right? I mean, if they were, I could have probably installed a, a shell and put in a, a listener, right? And got a shell back, but I mean, that was a password right here. So I did search a YouTube video up and I got that. So now we can just switch users to root. 
and now we're root, so now we can Alice and we can cat into um, nice.txe. And there is our root flag. Um, let's see if we can uh, decrypt this. And you see, here's the YouTube video. Um, but you guys, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.